It's currently 6.53 in the morning. You guys can see that. Uh, I'm packing up all my stuff. It was a nasty rainstorm last night, like gnarly. It's been raining nonstop for the last two days, which is really good because Utah really needs some rain. But the problem with that is I can't fly. And going two days without flying is like the hardest thing in the entire world for paramotor pilots. I just want to fly every single day, all day, at all times, and when I can't do that, it's just such a big bummer. I know, such a real first world dilemma that I live in. But honestly, every single day, if I don't get to fly, I feel I feel sad. There's just, it's just sadness in, in your soul. But I get to fly today, hopefully, hopefully. So it was nasty, gnarly weather last night, like crazy wind, crazy conditions. It looks like it cleared up. It looks beautiful out there, so we're gonna go give it a try, typically, typically, and, and this might not be the case for, for today, which is what we're gonna go test. The day before and the day after a nasty rainstorm is really bumpy. The day before the rainstorm hit, Jordan and I went flying. I haven't shown you that video because I filmed the entire thing in time-lapse versus normal video, so it's completely ruined. I know, I know, I'm, I'm brilliant. Anyways, it was nasty. It was bumpy, it was rough, it's all over the place which is to be expected for the day before a rainstorm. So today being the day after a rainstorm, I only imagine it's gonna be bumpy too. So we're gonna go find out today if that's the case. You wanna see something cool? Look at that, three GoPros. I am keeping them in business. Holy guacamole, it is a little out of control. Anyways, I'll see you guys there. Today's video is about, well, is it gonna be bumpy the day before and the day after a nasty, gnarly, vicious storm? Here's the reason I ask. Your dad always told me when we were younger, the day before and the day after a storm yeah. is nasty, gnarly conditions. Yep. So when the day we flew before the storm, which was on Tuesday, today's currently Thursday, was nasty, it was gnarly, it was bumpy. Today is now Friday, the day after the storm. So is it gonna be bumpy today? I don't know. You're up.
Yeah, yeah, Holy yeah. That cows. was a fun flight, dude. It was fun. Holy cow, my foot is cold. My hands are cold. I've got corn <laughs> on my paramotor. Oh my gosh, you guys see this? I, I brought some corn with me to the clouds. <laughs> now you got a husk? Huh? It's a husk. Well, oh, oh, I was chucking some corn back there, man. <laughs> But, uh, dude, I was diving it around through those clouds. Too much fun, man. After I took off, I had to fly back and lock the truck. Oh, you locked it? That's why you, I was, I thought you had something wrong. No, I had to go back and lock the truck. Jordan here doesn't want to get out of the paramotor. It's too comfy. I don't blame you, man. It was quite chilly for a flight this time of year. I, I was cold in my hands. My feet were cold. Everything was cold, except my body, because I had uh, long sleeves on and everything. But uh, thank you guys for watching. That was an extremely fun flight. Adventure machines, exploring machines, stoke machines, fun machines. That's all that they are, man. They are just an absolute hoot and holler. Uh, if you guys want to learn how to fly a paramotor for yourself, go to flyflytop.com. We'll see you in the next video.